Now let's look at the second practice question of chapter two. The question says the ACT scores of a sample of business school students and their genders are shown below. Okay, so here you can notice we have genders, we have their ATC scores. For example, less than twenty, twenty up to twenty-five, or twenty-five and more, and then we have the total here. Okay, so the first question asks how many students score less than twenty-five. So for question A, what can you do? How many students score less than twenty-five? Which means we need to include in the students which ACT score less than twenty and the ACE score also between twenty to twenty-five, right? So what we need to do is to sum the number of sixty-four because this is the total number of the students who score less than twenty and. Two hundred and sixty-four will be the score lies between twenty and twenty-five, right? So we need to sum these two numbers together to get the students' number who scored less than twenty-five. So this will give us two sorry three hundred and twenty-eight. Okay. Now for question B. So for question B, ask how many students were male? Okay. So where can we get the answer? You just need to go to the gender part and then check for the male and then find out the total number here. Therefore, we can get the answer: one hundred sixty students were male. Okay, and then the next question ask: of the male students, how many scored twenty or more? So what we need to do is just look at this row. Okay, so within the male students, how many students scored? Twenty-five or more. We notice only twenty-four students. Okay, twenty-four students scored twenty-five and more within male students. And then the next question asks you to compute the row percentage. Okay, compute the row percentage and then comments on any relationship that may exist between ACT score and gender of the individuals. Okay, so let's see how to compute the row percentage. In order to compute the row percentage, we need to use the row number here divide total. Okay, so let's see how to construct the row percentage. What you need to do is still write down the gender here. We have female. We have male, right? And then we have their score less than twenty, and lies between twenty to twenty-five, and then up twenty. Right. So here I'll just write down larger than twenty. Okay. So what we can do now, we can also put a total here. Okay. So for the row. Percentage for the female students. Okay, we know there are twenty-four students that probably their ACT score less than twenty. Therefore, the row percentage will equal twenty divide the total number of the female students. Okay, and this will give us the students. So this will be twenty-four, and then they will give us the row percentage for female students. Who scored less than twenty will equal ten percent. Similar, okay, for female students. Okay, still look at the female students. We know there are one hundred sixty-eight female students. Their score lies between twenty and twenty-five. Therefore, the row percentage will equal one hundred sixty-eight divided two hundred forty, which will give us the row percentage here will equal seventy percent. And then for the female students, we notice there are forty-eight students. Okay, their score more than twenty-five. So the row percentage will equal forty-eight divided two hundred and forty. So finally, it will give us this part equal twenty percent. Okay, if you sum those percentage together, like a ten percent plus seventy percent plus twenty percent, we can notice the total. Percent here will equal one hundred percent. Okay, now let's look at for male students.
So for male students, we notice there are 40 of them. AC score less than 20, okay? So we need to use 40 and then divide their total number of the male students. 160, we can get the percentage for male students who score less than 20 equal 25%. And then similar, we can find out the male students whose AC, ACT score lies between 20 and 25, which will equal 96 divided 160. So which will give us the row percentage for male students whose score lies between 20 to 25 equal 60%. And finally, we can find out the male students who score larger than 25 Okay, so still use this 24 students here, divide the total male students, which will give us the percentage here equal 15%. So similarly, if you sum those three percentage together, you can also get a total percentage equal 100. So this is the row percentage, okay? We use the row number here, divide the row total. So from the row percentage, we can write down some conclusion here. We can say the largest proportion, okay, so we can find out some conclusion. The first one we can find out the largest percentage of both Genders ACT, ACT score are in 20 to 25 range. Okay, there are 70%. Okay, we have 70% of female. and 60% of male students have this ACT score in this range, okay? So this could be one conclusion we might have based on our calculation, okay? We can notice the largest percentage of both genders ACT score are in this range, okay, 20 to 25%. We can also have another conclusion, okay? So probably we can also have another conclusion. The second conclusion we can have will be 10%, there are only 10% of females ACT score under, sorry, are under 20, okay? And 25% of males ACT score in this category. Okay, so those are some conclusions we can draw from the row percentage calculation. Now the last question asks you to compute the column percentage, okay? So for column percentage, how can we compute it? So for column percentage, we will just use the column number divide the column total, okay? This is why we can get the column percentage. So I will still put a gender here. And then I will put down the range of the score, okay? So probably less than 20, lies between 20 to 25 and then larger than 25 so for gender we still have a female 
and mail and then we will put a total here so now we have the total number here and then for female okay the column percentage less than 20 okay we will just use this 24 the column number divides the column total 64 okay which will give us this percentage 37.5 percent for male we will use 40 divide 64 to go get a column percentage okay so we will have 40 divide 64 to get a column percentage which will have 62.5 percent and then you can still notice if we sum these two percentage together we can get a total here equal 100 percent okay now for the score lines between 20 to 25 percent similar okay oh, allow me to draw a line here to separate it okay so for the score lines between 20 to 25 we will use 168 divide the column total 264 we will get this percentage equal 63.6% And then we can get the male's column percentage lies between this range, okay? It will equal 96 divide 264, which will equal 36.4%. And similarly, we can notice this column percentage total will still equal 100. And then last, for the range, larger than 20 of ACT score. We can have this female columns percentage will equal 48 divide 72, which will equal 66.7%. And then for the male student, we will use 24, the column number here, okay, divide 72 the total column number which will equal 33.3 percent and then similar the total column here will equal 100 percent so this is the way that we can compute for the column percentage you will just use the unit in the column divide the total numbers in each column to get a percentage